Good morning, everyone. I am working on the background stencils, uh, but while I'm working on those, I thought it might be a good idea to start at the beginning and, <coughs> excuse me, teach you how to create a stencil frame with tab that you would save into your projects so that every time you make a stencil, you won't have to create the frame over again. So this is saved into my project stencil frame with tab. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to create a new project from design space. And to get rid of the grid, if you don't already know this, between the zeros, you click there and you can change the grid or get rid of it completely. And I'm going to get a square over here for our stencil frame and a circle. I'm going to make this tab a circle. You can grab whatever shape makes you happy over there. I'm just going to pick one that I like the looks of and drag it over the top of this until I like the way it looks. If you wanted it all the way over to the edge, which I don't, but if you wanted it all the way over the edge, you could hit the shift key, grab both pieces, and you would tell it right up here at the top to align right. And it'll move that edge all the way over. Actually, I like the way that looks, so I'm gonna leave that. Now, I'm going to weld those two items. You can see I have them both chosen because they are dark gray in my layers panel. Always weld at the beginning of a project because once you have saved your project, you can't undo the weld. You can only do it during the process of creating, but not once it's been saved. So now that that has been welded, I'm going to change the size of that right here. I'm gonna just type in 5.5 inches because that's my standard frame, which makes it, you can see, a little bit taller this way. So you want to just make sure those parameters are within whatever storage you are using for your stencils. So actually I'm going to go back and undo that a little bit because that's a little taller than what I want it to be for mine. Let's see how tall is that now. That will work because I'm putting mine in a six by six album. So I'm gonna weld that. And there you have it. Now you can save this and name it like mine was, stencil frame with tab. Once it is saved, you would go in to say I wanted to just make a snowflake background stencil using my tab. Click on my projects. You would grab your stencil frame with tab that you've previously made and saved, customize it, and now you would build onto your existing frame whatever design you wanted to do. And when you're finished with it, you would save and save as. And that would save a completely new project, keeping your existing stencil frame with tab. I hope that makes sense. As always, place your questions in the comments so that others can benefit from them. Thanks, I hope this is helping.